Hey, it's me. We are doing a quick tip video today. If you aren't familiar with my quick tip videos, basically I talk about a topic in or around the five minute mark. And today we're going to be talking about the new NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Now I realize this has been out for a few months. I honestly wasn't going to review it because so many people reviewed it, but I keep getting questions about it constantly. And I think it's because a lot of you know that NARS is one of my favorite brands when it comes to complexion products. I never miss a beat when they release a foundation, a concealer, a powder. I just normally am genuinely impressed with their products. So let's go ahead and talk about this. I've developed an opinion on it. I've been using it for a week now and I pretty much had a solid opinion from like the second time that I used it. So let's go ahead and get into it. I picked out the shade Fiji. It is an absolute spot on match for me. I don't think I've ever used Fiji in the other products. Um, I, so I can't really say if the color is identical to, you know, this and sheer glow or all day luminous or whatever. All I know is that it matches me really well. Great light uh, undertone and also light undertone. Great light shade with a yellow undertone to it. Application and coverage on this product. The coverage is definitely a medium to full. However, you can sheer it out and make it more of a light coverage depending on how you like to wear it. I personally like to apply two pumps to get my desired coverage. I think that gives me a nice daily medium coverage if I want a little bit more I have built it up to three to four and for me personally that's just a little bit too much but if you like that super full coverage look then you can definitely achieve that with this foundation I also have been applying it with a brush I find that that's the method that I prefer which is strange because most of the time I do prefer a sponge but with this particular foundation I have really been enjoying uh, buffing it in with a brush and what I notice from just off the bat applying it is that it covers very fast the pigment is there in this foundation so if you're worried about covering uh, dark spots pimples I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that this does have uh, a lot of coverage to it now in the name it says natural radiant longwear foundation i really haven't found that this is too radiant honestly when i there's a there's a plane flying over right now when i apply this to my skin without highlighter without concealer it in my opinion dries to more of a satin finish and that's where i want to get into uh what my opinion was the first thing when i when i first tried this i immediately said to myself Okay, this is almost identical to the All Day Luminous Foundation, except I would describe it to have a tiny touch of sheer glow. So if sheer glow and All Day Luminous had a child, I feel like it would be this foundation right here. To me, this is about 70% All Day Luminous with 30% sheer glow in it. And what I mean by that is All Day Luminous is definitely more of a satiny matte finish, uh, but still has a lot of coverage to it. This formula has just a touch more radiance in it, just a touch, not, um, not anything that I think is going to be considered as an ultra dewy foundation. But yeah, it, honestly, when I try, when I started using this, I honestly thought to myself, okay, this is almost identical, almost identical to All Day Luminous, except a little bit more radiant. So longevity on this product, uh, I have, honestly, I can no longer say that I have completely dry skin. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been struggling with some breakouts on my forehead. And so I would describe my skin right now in a normal decombination state. My forehead has been getting a little oily and I, I've, I've really had no problems with this breaking down on me throughout the day. I would say that it does crease in my smile lines underneath my eyes but I try not to be too critical of that because that honestly happens with most most foundations that um, I use most liquid foundations so on me I noticed that uh, probably around the six hour mark is when I'll start seeing it uh, kind of crease in my smile lines and underneath my eyes like I said that's very typical of most foundations to do but I haven't noticed it to become patchy 
or break apart or even come off. It actually has been staying on my skin really nicely. I will include some uh, shots throughout the day so you can see how it's wearing on my skin. But honestly, on me, I would, uh, you know, say that the claim for long wear has been pretty true. I would say probably a solid eight hour wear before it starts looking, you know, a little choppy. Three foundations I would find this comparable to are definitely, like I said, the All Day Luminous, spot on, very similar. My La Mer Soft Fluid, I would definitely say that these have a similar uh, finish and a similar texture. And also Armani Luminous Silk. This gave me a little bit of Luminous Silk vibes. Uh, when you pump it out, it's a bit thicker than what the Armani foundation is. But again, overall, that kind of satiny finish, uh, lightweight, but still uh, full coverage. I would definitely say those are three foundations if I could compare to the formula of this that are most similar that I've personally tried. So overall, I honestly don't see myself finding this as a cult favorite. I don't think it's a bad foundation. I think it's actually pretty on my skin type and on my skin in general, but it's nothing that really blew me away. So uh, yeah, overall, honestly, if you're anything but super oily, I think it would be fine. Very similar in texture to La Mer Soft Fluid, All Day Luminous, Armani Luminous Silk. Uh, if you've tried those, then you know what I'm talking about. So let me know if you have tried this foundation. That is my final thoughts, or those are my final thoughts. And uh, I want to know what you thought if you tried it out. I feel like on Instagram, when I showed a photo of it, I got 50-50 uh, responses. Uh, it seemed like people really loved it or they really hated it. So let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. If you have any questions that I didn't answer about it, feel free to leave those down there as well. And I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.